Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a first quarter moon visible Tuesday the 19th. We should be close to full on Christmas. The sun has sunspots rotating away from Earth. It should be in about a week off the limb, so that'll be good. Don't know right what's coming around next. Drought-wise, we missed last week because the update didn't come in. And so taking a look from two weeks ago to now, it's a little lessening of the drought here, a little worsening of the drought on the plains, but very little change. In the colder temperatures, you don't have as much evaporation and plants aren't releasing water to the atmosphere. Nationally, we see a lot of relief in the south and a little worsening in the Pacific Northwest, but very little changing. Looking at our snowpack, going through the last month or so whoops i didn't think that was there uh the 13th is the last update and 82 percent of median so it's pretty good i mean we're not too far off the the mark if we can get a good storm or two we can get above and yeah that'd be nice so looking at the precipitation it did fall in the central and northern mountains and the western slopes primarily a little bit made it out on the plains but not so much Looking at uh, severe weather, we do have a system passing to mainly to our south. We got some chance of just thunderstorms down there, thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday down into Texas as that system slowly moves by. The National Weather Service forecast at the surface, I've said this a bunch of times, it always overdoes the extent of snow. I, maybe not rain, but it's got it way far to north um, for Wednesday. And Thursday, it should be much further south. Friday, it's finally off into Texas. Looking at our temperatures, our normal highs and lows have hit bottom. 42 for high, 17 for low. There's a point where the normal goes back up to 18 and then drops down to 17 again in a month or month and a half or so. But this is about as cold as our normals get. Here's our chance of precipitation it's going to be very light in uh, Longmont Denver uh, Fort Collins really I don't think much is going to show up at all but um, this one's getting a little excited looking here's our river moisture starting to come in hopefully this starts to actually mean snow and rain um, since we have a strong El Nino going on it looks like that might go away next year but I will update later so the upper air features, we have this cutoff low. Cutoff lows go a lot slower because they're not following their jet stream. So it's going to ease on by to our south. You can see snow from south of Denver, southern and central Colorado, southeast corner, rain out ahead of that and in New Mexico, <coughs> four corners area. So those places need water. It's good. But we should stay out of it um, by, well, I think, so the formatting on Monday. On uh, Monday night, you see a big ridge is back, and that's not going to move for much of the week. Uh, Got to go all the way out to December 22nd, so Christmas Eve Eve, uh, for that Friday p.m. Is that right? 22, 3, 4, no, Christmas Eve Eve Eve. <laughs> that's not a thing. Um, we have a low approaching from uh, the west. It's actually kind of in two parts. We've got uh, energy associated with it there. And a pretty good system with the surface low deepening on the east side of the Rockies. A lot of moisture coming up and over. Snow moving in through Utah, even way down into Arizona. And then Saturday noon, the 23rd, we have a low beginning to really wrap that snow around in northern Colorado. And by Christmas Eve morning, there's still some light snow and snow flurries in the area. Now, this is a long ways out. This is in that fantasy area where uh, run to run on the models, the storm is a day to uh, later, uh, earlier, not here at all, out on the West Coast, only dry here. So it's I wouldn't put money on this yet, but the latest run that I've seen uh, does possibly give us a uh, white Christmas. Now... We had the debate here earlier in the day. Is White Christmas just having measurable snow on the ground when you wake up Christmas morning, or do you have to have a falling Christmas morning? Now, I grew up in Phoenix, so if 
peanuts, um, styrofoam peanuts around the lawn, and I, I would call that a, a white Christmas. But um, no, that's that's my background. So let's take a look at the upper level moisture, not moisture, upper level pattern that goes to the low um, here at the middle end of the week, and there comes that ridge. See, the low does complicated things in the deep south, kind of interesting. But we just have this ridge. It's going to warm us above normal. It's December 19th and 20th. And there you can see a big cutoff low drifting slowly apart from the jet stream into the 22nd, 21st. Here comes another piece to reinforce it for the 23rd, 24th. They kind of wheel around each other over Colorado. And that's it, moving back to the beginning. Um, not much to show on the surface temperature map. You can see the cool pool of air with this low. Doesn't really do it at night because it's cloudy. But in the daytime, it's a below normal. But the entire nation is above normal, or very much above normal. There's a hint of a front coming down. And it just tries to kind of get into the eastern coast area, but everything out west stays very warm for a long time. Even as we get close to this Christmas possible storm, it's more of a Pacific cool air coming in. You can see that kind of sneaking in from the west. Not a super Arctic cold shot like we have had already. Here's the moisture for the, the storm passing us to the south. Kind of a nice plume going up into the um, our Great Plains, and then we dry out for much of the week. Not much to see there. Dew points are pretty good at the surface. That's why we have all the clouds and moisture out there. But then by the weekend, dry air pushes in, and we have no more chance of storminess. So there's as close as the snow and the rain gets to northern Colorado, and away it goes <coughs> down into the south. You do see sort of a quasi-tropical system, or maybe it is a tropical system, coming up into the Gulf and hitting land, at least according to the model, uh, going up to the 19th and 20th. Let's watch this system come in from the west. We are high and dry through Thursday the 21st, Friday the 22nd, and then finally we have snow and precipitation coming in. The load tightens up, whips a lot of snow around on the north side, and then starts to fall apart, and we're there. So for the next three days, you might see a coating or dusting of snow around uh, the, the I-25 corridor, front range area. But the good stuff is way down here. Wouldn't want to go through Raton and Trinidad or anything like that at present. Precipitation-wise, really no moisture worth talking about. Over the next five days, though, we do have that possibility of a system coming in, giving us some snow, and there is some precipitation there. But yeah, we'll see what happens there. Over the next 10 days, snow like that. So we have 30s and 40s, warming quickly to the 50s for the week, staying dry. And that's it. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, check out Longmont Leader for frequent weather updates and lots of local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.